Bush Kitchen. I am John, and this is my mom, Carolyn. We have started this year hiking together and backpacking together. And one of the, the best parts about taking your mom backpacking is not only is your mom the best cook in the kitchen, <laughs> she is the best cook on the trail. That is the truth mm -hmm. about my mom. And today, and in this series, we are going, I am just going to rely on my mom to teach me, to teach you. She's still new to the whole filming thing, so like, phones are on. <laughs> hey, y'all set? Okay, bye. You hey, what? Mom. Let's go. My mom just walked off the set to take her dog to the neighbors. So in this series, you'll see a bunch of dehydrated, backpacking trail recipes that you yourself can make and try out on your next backpacking journey or adventure. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around for the entire series. But first things first, the first thing we have to do and get out of the way is what makes up Mom's Bush Kitchen, okay? There's some tools that you might want to invest in to start your own kind of little backpacking kitchen. So mom, the first thing you'll probably need and the first thing to your kitchen, I'm guessing, is a dehydrator. A right? dehydrator, oh. yeah. So I really went to task and researched a bunch of different dehydrators. I like stainless steel and I like the uh, models where you get airflow from the back. It makes more sense to me that it's more even airflow. I was really attracted to the Kasori, and that's what I have in my kitchen. Um, it's 600 watts, it's all stainless steel. It has temperature control as well as a timer on it that will turn off. Um, you also wanna make sure that your uh, temperature will go up to at least 160, 165 for your meats. It's $150. 150 bucks. Ish. 150 bucks. Ish. Ish. Now, when you do get your dehydrator, there are still some accessories that you're gonna want. So I said it came with stainless steel trays. This is the tray that it comes with. I have some chicken here that we'll be using in recipes later. I cut out a shelf liner um, that's a silicone shelf liner mm -hmm. and line the trays because things can stick to the tray. Also, things of course can go through these squares. Mm -hmm. I only got one fruit leather tray, so I had to order more fruit leather trays. And what goes on this? What kind of food? So you would put your mashed potatoes on there, any of the fruit leathers, barks. But what I did was I bought these silicone liners, and those I bought separately on Amazon. And I find those to be really easy to use and to clean, and they release food really easily. Perfect. Yeah. And we will, of course, have links to all this stuff down in the description where you can go buy it and then I'll make a nice little commission and I will share it with my mom. <laughs> the other thing we have that not everyone has but we're gonna be using a lot in this series is the Instant Pot Pressure Cooker. The pressure cooker is absolutely necessary if you are going to dehydrate chicken Otherwise, you have to use canned chicken. Rice is done in four minutes. We use a lot of rice and beans in our recipes, um, and you can really cut your time in the kitchen down. They run around $80. If you're spending more than that, you know, wait for a sale. So that makes up the, all the equipment that you're gonna need in your at-home kitchen. All of this stuff right here, this is the real Mom's Bush kitchen. This is the kitchen that comes out with us into the wild, into the bush, because all of the recipes that we're doing in this series, we are going to dehydrate. And then of course on the trail, they will need rehydrated. And this is the equipment that can be used to do that. So starting with your stove, mom, what kind of stove do you use? I use the MSR Pocket Rocket. The MSR Pocket Rocket, probably a lot of you have this thing, but mom's got the whole, what you'll find out, pretty much MSR set going here. And we love, love them. MSR products. And I chose the deluxe. This one has a little piezo lighter on it. The piezo lighter. The piezo. You must turn on the gas. You must turn, turn on. Gas. I'm sorry. Hit it. I thought you did that Oof. there. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So this came with your your pocket rocket. Yeah. This whole thing. Yeah, I bought what? the I bought this whole setup. Okay. So that will 
go on there. Oh, and nice. there's a little. So this is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe setup that my mom has ordered all in one. So this is what will come in the setup. There's a link to this in the description below. You get your pocket rocket. Obviously you'll have to pick up your MSR fuel yourself, but then comes this MSR pot and this lid. And look at this. And this nice little You don't clutch even rate. need to burn your little hands That's when you awesome. take it off. That's awesome. And a bowl. And a bowl. And if bowl. you're into measuring, it's got measurements on the bowl. Now mom, we're gonna go over some more stuff here. Is it safe to say that most people, this is all they need? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah. for a lot of this stuff, you're just gonna find out that this is probably all you'll need on the trail. I know a lot of mm -hmm. you don't wanna take this whole kitchen. Like mm -hmm. I said, my mom's a gourmet cook out there. She wants her damn bush kitchen with her She's in the bush. Embellishing. I am not. Remember when hiking up in the winds where this thing was swinging on your back oh and it was the last day and I was like, what is on your back swinging and not secure? It was her kitchen. That was on there. And it was knocking me down the pass <laughs> as was, I was trying to it was, climb it. This is yeah. how she was walking because she didn't have it secure. Okay, so here's the MSR pocket <laughs> rocket. We it looks like we have two balls over here wrapped in some sort of aluminum. What are these balls, Mom? Okay, so this is also MSR and just a long story short, I started off with the jet boil. A product I love. Jet Boil does make a good product, but they're, they screwed up on their pot. It was designed this way with fins on it. When I unpacked that and touched the fins, they broke up just like an eggshell. Yeah, um, I like the Jet Boil, but the company that makes that is Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, uh, <laughs> baby shampoo. Yeah, MS, eh. MSR makes a better pot. Let's put it that way. I, yeah. We trust MSR a little bit more. But do you remember how easy this yeah. was to clean? No, I mean, Holy I'm like, moly. what could be easier to clean than that? Because I just remember how we cleaned it. And after, I know with the yeah. jet boil, if you've owned a jet boil for more than a month and taken it on more than one trip, you're probably like me. You have this like thin layer of black, burnt, whatever you've cooked or totally. coffee or something on the bottom of it. Look how clean this pot is on the bottom. You, we, we use have, that every night we, for our dinners. We use this three times a day on a 50 mile hike and look at that pot, mm -hmm. it is so clean. That's yeah. exactly what's going on here. Don't forget my rag though. Oh, mom likes her rag, she brought yeah. a rag. He was washing things with his hands. I'm telling you, just get a mesh rag. I think it's awesome. So there's the pot. That's the handle that goes on That's the, the pot. That's the handle that goes on the pot. I did it, I can do it. There we go. Honey upside down. Probably can put the handle on So that. to reconstitute food, you can pour it into your baggie and just let it reconstitute in there for most part. Sometimes though, you wanna boil them a little bit longer. Okay. So what I usually did when we were on the trail was I would add the water, let it sit for about a minute or two, and then I would boil. Boil it for about a minute, take it off the stove, put it in your cozy that I made out of reflexor material. So mom made this. And let it sit. These are cozies. Are we gonna teach you how to do that? No, but a fun arts and crafts project you can try. It's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're also gonna be using Hyperlite Mountaineering Bag. Uh, we even have food in it right now. This is an upcoming episode of Eggs and Polenta. And this needed rehydrated with warm water. Boiling water. So we mm -hmm. boiled the water, we put it in our bag here, and then we add it to this bag, which keeps it warm. So when it comes out after 20 minutes, it's not these cold eggs that you have, it's still hot, it's still warm. I find them really useful when I'm with her and I actually have food to rehydrate. And lastly, you brought out this. So. If you don't take a jet boil with you, this is the way you can make coffee. Let's say you don't want to add a jet boil and all your MSR stuff. This is a really easy, cheap way to do it. It's just a pour over method. You put your coffee in there, you put it over there, you will boil your water like this, and then you will pour it over your preferred method. Easy to clean. So that is all the equipment that you need to follow along with us and to get started. For the next 10 weeks, we're gonna be bringing you recipe after recipe, sushi rice bowls, 
We got apple pie. We have some curries. So if we've already come out with those episodes, they are right here for you to watch. And if not, just hit that subscribe button. They'll be coming at you soon. Hey, YouTube thinks you'll like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.